newspapers and other statements from nations around the world the daily reports represent a unique resource for the study of foreign affairs but we can do better than just these daily reports the nine eleven commission report supported the creation of a new open source agency and staff statement number eleven from that report said open sources have always been the bedrock source of information for intelligence one of the great advantages of open source intelligence is it's relatively inexpensive and you can share it with others including our allies soldiers from foreign governments and best of all you can share open source intelligence with the american people for example for those interested in iran's nuclear proliferation activities i have an aerial photograph in front of me dated two thousand and two showing the construction of buildings for uranium enrichment and then for two years later it shows that those facilities have been buried underground if the iranians claim there's nothing sensitive taking place on that site you look at a larger photograph and here you see the construction but here when those facilities have been buried underground you see a new guard fence with guard posts around the best part of these aerial photographs is they're unclassified and you can describe what's going on in Iran and share it not only with members of this chamber but with our allies and with the American people even though the uh, the 9-11 Commission report supports creation of open source agency my amendment simply asks the National Intelligence Director to report to Congress next June with his or her recommendation uh, Mr. Speaker at a time when the performance of the US intelligence community is being questioned and when every scrap of information is needed to put together the puzzle presented by terrorist operations there could be no better time to incorporate the value of open source intelligence to the overall process.